the final thing is, I think that you know, as you as you look ahead, you're going to see as a result of these things, uh, the Indian politics becoming more presidential, this uh, very sharp turn to the right, the Congress Party in a crisis, both in terms of the number of seats and also in terms of the quality of its leadership, and the decimation of the le left. What this means is that many things are just going to be open for debate and open for contestation in India in a way they have not been. So it's hard to exaggerate. And I know that sort of, you know, I mean, this is all very fresh and, 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 and so on. But I think even if we were to have this conversation two months from now or six months from now, you look back on this election and say it's, it's hard, to, hard to exaggerate the, the degree of change. I think that you're going to see new debates. We don't know what direction they're going to take but I think you're going to see dramatically new uh, the, the debates in terms of economic policy, uh, in terms of the meaning of Indian secularism and pluralism in particular. Some of those numbers on the Muslim vote were quite striking, but one of the things that's, uh, that's interesting there is that the BJP continues to lag in terms of the Muslim vote, but even under Modi, it has doubled its share of the Muslim vote compared to 2009. So it's still a very low share, it's about 9%, but it's twice what it got last time. So I think there are a lot of things that are in play. I think you're going to see uh, very, very interesting uh, uh, debates on just how far he can move with economic policy in particular, because now he has a mandate. And the general rule of thumb was that if, they, if the BJP had fallen short or if the NDA had fallen short, we could have expected more, a more cautious approach but with 282 seats for the, for the BJP alone, with the first single party mandate since 1984, with the, uh, the crushing win for the coalition, and with the fact that you have this politician who really emerged from nowhere, completely different class background from all his, from most of his, fr from his predecessors. Uh, there have been chief ministers before who have become prime minister, but there haven't been people who have used their base as a chief minister and really campaigned for it in this sort of US style and 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 written to the prime, prime minister's office. And one last thing before I end, I mean one of the sort of little pieces of trivia on this is that Narendra Modi's first job as a state level politician was chief minister of Gujarat. He'd never fought an election before. His first uh, his first election was to be was was as an MLA when he was chief minister of Gujarat. And uh, here is someone who is entering the Lok Sabha as the next Prime Minister of India.